So this is something interesting. This pump locked up on me. It was sitting here running, pumping just fine. I heard it kind of make this grinding noise and then it quit. Grind for a second, quit. So I thought, oh, it's just sucking up, you know, a little bit of mud and it's making it sound funny. And all of a sudden I come back over here and it's just off. And I tried to pull it to restart and it was locked up. Couldn't pull the rope out. I thought, well, shoot, that thing, I mean, this is a brand new pump. So I thought, man, it <laughs> somehow crapped out, you know, and, and locked up the engine or else it sucked up something serious in the housing. So I opened up all the housing. I mean, there's nothing in this pit. That there's no rock. There's nothing that should suck up through the screen. I mean, it's got a suction screen. There's nothing in here that should suck up and lock this pump up. It's the way it's designed. Opened all up, expecting to find something broke or bent or jammed. Nothing. I don't find anything. And I go to turn this, and it's loose. And so, just out of curiosity, I pulled the rope, to make sure the rope wasn't locked up, and the dang thing fired right up. Nothing to it. So, it looks like there's some wear on the edge here, and there's definitely some wear on the inside here, and that's what rides, of course, on the outside of this. But you know, these little pumps, I made a video before where I was talking about cleaning one out, and this is just metal on metal. This edge right here rides on the inside of this here. Nothing but water to, to keep it loose, you know? So I don't know if it somehow just shifted a little bit or how it is it got locked up, but there ain't a, there ain't a twig, not a blade of grass, nothing. Well, here you go, wait. Look at that. Little bits of, little bits of aluminum. That's what it is. These little bits of aluminum came from right here there's this little sort of stud looks like this one over here and I guess I guess those help keep this thing in position so let's see if I if I put it all you know, and then you got a little pin up here and this pin goes inside this hole to keep it all upright so see if I put it back together if maybe it'll maybe it'll run or else these little bits of aluminum with that pin being broke off Maybe that won't let it balance out and it'll load up and die, but I'll put it back together and just see what happens. That's it for now. See what it does. See if it doesn't bust itself apart again or not. It's going to dry up. And, uh, let's see. Let's see if it's pulling. It doesn't look like it's pulling any water up yet. I'll have to reprime it here. Wow. I am impressed. Um, brand new pumps. I pointed and showed y'all how they were. It was leaking behind this housing. Got the uh, impeller off there. Two bolts. Two bolts that go in here that hold this housing onto the engine, completely out, and they were jammed up inside this bolt hole. Now uh, the threads on them are pretty boogered. I might be able to get them started back in, but I kind of doubt it. I'm going to try, um, and I'm going to try to just torque the heck out of these other two, and for now, maybe I can just run it with just two bolts. I'm taking this thing back anyway, warranty it out. They got a 90-day guarantee, and yeah, they owe me on this one. Okay, so two bolts out. The other two were loose, so I tightened them as much as I could. Out there, and I break them, and uh, have it all put back together, and right now, Water. I just started it. Water right here. It's slowly coming up. So it's harder before when it was run for just a second before it locked out again. It probably was leaking air. That's why it wouldn't actually draw a bunch of needles to pull up water. It's pulling water now. So hopefully it uh, won't leak. And uh, once I get it on here and run it stable, I'm going to go over to the other one and take it apart and do the same thing because it's leaking around that housing. So I'm sure it's bolts are loose too. They just got to. Bad batch of these pumps, whatever kid or hopefully an adult that was putting them together in a factory somewhere just took a lazy day and uh, didn't work them out stuff like they should have. So we'll go get that other one worked on here and hopefully prevent it from capping out too.